Good afternoon, Colin here with Tech Out, and today we're going to be looking at the Clearlook rotating keyboard tray, and I'm going to be unboxing and installing this on my desk. Um, we've got two different ways you can put it on. We've got the under desk mount, clamps on and goes you know down towards under the desk, and you can flip it around and stow everything under your desk when you're not using it. Or we've got the above desk mount, which you know you can do height adjustment and all that kind of stuff, and uh, put it on that way. That's going to be the method I'm going to install it on my desk, um, but I just want to let you guys know it is installable in either configuration. But this is what I'm going to be showing today. Now, uh, because of my broken foot, kind of hard to unbox all this uh, and hold the camera, and I can't really use my tripod because um, I need to do this on the floor. It's kind of large. Um, so I'm going to try to get as much of the unboxing and install as I can, but I'm going to go ahead and take all the pieces out of the box, and then I'll come back and show you guys what we have and what assembly is required and that kind of stuff. All right, so when you first pull everything out of the box, you have your actual keyboard tray here. We have an accessory box that has the actual mount on it. We have the instruction and installation manual right here. And then we have the two stoppers that go on the top and the bottom of the actual tray itself. So if you have it tilted, um, your keyboard will not slide slide off onto the floor, slide off on your desk, wherever it may be. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and pop out the accessories, um, see if we need any tools or if they are included. Um, we do have to mount the actual mount to the back of the keyboard tray right here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that put on um, and see what we need to do that. All right, so we have all the mounting hardware here. We have the mount itself, and we have the uh, screws, and it does come with the Allen keys, um, so you do not need to get any of your own tools. It has everything provided in here, both sizes, um, for both mounting it and adjusting um, what is already on here. Now, this tray does have a slide-out little container um, for storage, so the way you put this on is going to um, you know, affect what side that is on, whether you want it on the right or the left. Um, I don't really care either way, so I'm just going to put it on and... Yeah, um, see now when you put this on your desk if you put it on um, If you want it under your desk, you're gonna want it to be mounted like this And then if you put it above your desk, you're gonna want this little rubber stopper piece to be on the top of your desk um, So you can get the you know tilt and height adjustment and all that kind of stuff if it's the other way um, You're not going to be able to get it very far up So this is going to be the way the orientation you mount it on your desk or under your desk rather and then on top of your desk like this now I will show that obviously when I put it on the desk um, so you guys can see a little bit better what way goes what. I'm gonna go ahead and get this all screwed onto the mount itself and then I'm gonna go ahead and just clamp this onto my desk and I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like after that. All right, so just like so, I put in the two uh, top and bottom ones just to keep everything lined up and then I'm gonna go ahead and tighten all these down around the edges. There are six of them total and uh, that's what it looks like so far. And like I said, after I get this tightened down, I'll go ahead and pop it on the desk and show you guys uh, that orientation. All right, so here is the installation on my desk. Um, I kind of did it backwards from what the picture shows. The picture shows um, that kind of flipped forward and then leaned up, but my monitor is so big, um, it actually blocked the view of that. So I have it pulled out like this. And then of course you have your, your adjustments like that so you can tilt it um, and then you can also adjust um, the height right here as well. Um, so it's fully adjustable. And then I did install um, the little uh, stoppers right here. Um, I put this one on the top and then this one on the bottom. They will work in either spot. So I guess, you know, that's pretty much personal preference, but I didn't want a large um, thing where my wrist is gonna be. Um, you know, again, just personal preference. You can set that up however you like. Um, the way you tighten it down to your desk is just gonna be your large Allen key right up here. Um, and it will just clamp onto your desk like so. And then like I said at the beginning of the video, what I was talking about with um, the clamp is if you want to put it on top of your desk, this piece is going to go up. If you want to put it on the bottom of your desk so you can swing it under and hide your keyboard under your desk when you're not using it and have it a little, a little bit lower down, um, you're going to want to flip this over. You don't have to do anything with this. Just flip that over and just rearrange your, um, your tilt right here and you can have it underneath your desk just like so. And then like I said, there is a little tray here um, so you can keep, you know, like a cable or something like that. Um, you know, just little odds and ends. Um, if you're somebody who doesn't know where you want to put this yet, I would definitely keep the small Allen key in here or nearby um, because you're going to want to uh, tighten and loosen these um, right here so you can mess with your um, adjustments and stuff like that so they're not too tight or too loose. Because um, once you set them, you're, you're going to want to have them pretty tight so your keyboard's not, you know, tilting back and forth and stuff like that while you're trying to use it. Um, so make sure you get those tightened up once you find a position. Um, now you can rotate it very easily. There's no um, adjustment for that. 
So that's not a um, that's not an issue whatsoever. Um, once you get it tightened, you can still turn it. Um, like if it's underneath your desk or something like that, you'll be able to stow it under your desk um, without having to loosen it every time. I would just get this adjustment right where you can have it uh, so you're able to move it, but not to where it moves too freely. So that is the clear view or uh, clear look. I forget what it is. Let me have my phone up here. I'll show you guys. I'll definitely link this down in the description where you can pick it up on Amazon as well. Um, but it is the clear look right here. And it is um, $99.99 at the time I made this video. Um, so that is the clear look two in one uh, rotational keyboard stand. And you put your mouse and everything on here, obviously. Um, and I am Colin with Tech Out. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day. All right, so here's the finished product with my keyboard and mouse on it. Uh, one little side note that I realized pretty quickly is if you use a mouse, you're gonna either um, wanna have this pretty flat or you're going to want to use a trackpad because if you angle it down too much, your mouse is just going to slide back down every time you let go of it. Um, now, I don't know if that, that would bother you or not, but you know, obviously your mouse on the computer is gonna slide to the bottom of the screen. Um, so I figured out that about right, right here with just a slight angle is enough to keep my mouse on there. Um, and this is the MX Master 3S um, and the MX Mechanical Keyboard. Um, so you can kind of get these wherever you want. The keyboard does have more of a, a rubbery grip on the bottom and obviously you're not gonna be moving that around um, and have to worry about it sliding. But the mouse um, definitely likes to slide to the bottom um, if you have it tilted too far. So that's just one thing to keep in mind if that's gonna bother you. Um, I would recommend getting a trackpad if you're on something like a Mac. Um, just get you a magic trackpad you can put over here um, if you don't mind using one and that will solve that problem. But again, I'm Colin with Tech Out. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.